Anak Vyas and this video is a collaboration with Programming Knowledge. In this video, we'll talk about how we can integrate PostgreSQL with our Spring Boot REST API application. So the usual way of uh, doing this is by first downloading the PostgreSQL database so and which you can do it <coughs> in this on this link. And once it's done, make sure that you have a PostgreSQL UI from which you can actually uh, add and remove your tables, add database, etc, etc. So uh, I will show you what uh, you can do to actually download this and how to also download the uh, PostgreSQL UI. So I currently use a Mac. So for that, I use a Mac OS operating system and I download the package. Uh, once it is done, uh, PostgreSQL gives you a very nice and handy UI uh, using which you can actually spawn a terminal of your own for each and every database which you have and then use that to actually uh, use your uh, PostgreSQL database. So let's get started. So the first thing which you need to do is download PostgreSQL and once you're done, let's open it up now. So it's the Postgres app and yes, check automatically. And uh, as you can see, my server is running now and uh, you'll get PostgreSQL by default as a database and also a template one. So first what we do is click on template one. So let me just take this one as my database and just to show you what happens. So once you click on that, it opens a nice terminal. So let me increase the size of the terminal. Yeah, so I'm inside the template one database. And if you want to see the tables inside now, uh, you can see that there are two uh, tables to do and to do, which I've made, but we'll make another table uh, uh, using which we'll be integrating our Spring Boot REST API application. So this is how the terminal looks and make sure that you have PostgreSQL uh, downloaded and installed before you start the uh, video. So yeah, now that we have our PostgreSQL database, the next thing which we need to do is make sure that we update our application properties because this is where the major changes of our application are to be done. So if you are new to this video and new to, new to the Spring Boot application REST API videos, then make sure to watch my playlist on this channel and uh, I'll just give you a quick overview of what is happening in this uh, REST API application. So. Uh, this is a to-do list API and you have a to-do entity here which is going to be using these attributes. It's going to have an ID, title, summary, description and all of the stuff, setters and getters, parameters, constructors. This is then uh, controlled by a to-do controller which has the API endpoints for our uh, to-do list API. And the business logic resides in to-do service, which has uh, everything from get all to-dos, get to-do, create to-do, etc., etc. And the last thing is the repository, uh, which handles our implementation for JPA, uh, in this case, Hibernate. So we'll be using this to actually make sure that we have our basic uh, implementations for save, find all, etc., etc. Uh, ready. So this is how our uh, uh, API is in a nutshell. So the first thing which you need to do after you have installed Postgres uh, is first have the dip Postgres SQL dependency. So this is the dependency here and just install it. Uh, remove the uh, Spring MySQL uh, dependency that you have. Just make sure you have Postgres SQL and should be downloaded within no time. And then right click, go to Maven and click on update project and it will automatically have it in your uh, Maven dependencies. So when that is done, the next thing which you need to do is change the dialect. So dialect is basically how Hibernate implements its native SQL queries for you. So the Hibernate dialect for PostgreSQL is this. So I'm just copy it from here. I just did a Google search for this. Nothing complicated. And just paste it here. Great. The next thing which you need to do is uh, change your URL. So let me just... Uh, do this for now. We don't need the username and password. We just need the database location. So let's see how you can generate a Postgres SQL. Yeah, right here. So this is how it looks like your Postgres SQL URL. So we need JDBC. So JDBC is your API, which connects it to your application. And now that we have done this, we need to go into template one. So template one is our database here, which we are accessing using this terminal, we are template one. Okay, so now what we have to do is create a new table. And let's say the name of the table is going to be 
to do table. Not the best name, but we'll make do for now. So now that we have a to do table name, so let's do it to do table. We need to make this table inside our template one database. So for that, what we can do is we can do a create table to do table and then have uh, all of our uh, attributes so first we have is the id so id int primary key next is going to be the title so title varchar 64 the next thing is summary summary varchar 64 and the last thing is description war care and it's going to be 64 as well so these are all the attributes that we have inside our to do table and let's hit enter and you see that it has created a table just to confirm if the table has been created or not let's do a slash dt uh, as you can see you have a to do table as your uh, table inside your database so now that we have uh, made our to do table inside it make sure that the name is also the same here to map it to your object which is called object relational mapping uh, this is ready the form is ready we don't need the controller now and all you have to do is now run your spring api and let's see that it has actually started our uh, implementation or connected postgres sql successfully or not so as you can see this server is spawning up uh, no errors so far so we are good to go and yeah we have started the to do list server so now to check whether our database is working or not go to postman do a get of to do's which would uh, give us an empty list for now so as you can see an empty list so let's add some data so do a post body or we'll give it as one let's have the task as uh, do lead code every day or let's just make it a, f a bit funny now uh, one lead code a day keeps unemployment oh wait great so summary is going to be invert a b3 description same as summary and uh, we don't need the author for now so this is how our id is and let's post this now so do a send and the status is 200 okay so let's do a get and we should be getting our data back so yes i think i uh, missed the title a bit but this is how you actually connect your postgres sql database to your spring boot application so let's rewind and see what we did here so the first thing which you need to do is download postgres sql for your operating system after that uh, open it up uh, you'll be having postgres sql and then if you want you can in initialize a new database make sure you double click on that and then connect to your uh, app uh, terminal uh, increase the font if you want to get really really small and once that is done you can then uh, create a table here as i did go to your application properties change the dialect and also the url and you're good to go so that is how you uh, integrate an external database <coughs> as postgres sql into your spring boot application uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one